Ready? How y'all doing today? This is Tony Carcella from the um, Research Test Kitchen down in Landrum, South Carolina. Um, it is Today is January 18th. It's a little cold outside, a little colder than usual down here in Landrum. And uh, we are calling for snow and ice yesterday, but thank God you spared us. And um, I'm making, we're making a couple videos today. One is, I have a new friend, and her name is Kay. And we're making this video today, Kay, just specifically for you, to thank you, and to say hello to you. And um, you're a mighty woman of God. We are believers. My wife and I are pastors. My son, who is filming this, is a mighty man of God. And his name is Ezekiel. And um, we just wanted to thank you so much for your recipe of crusty Italian bread. Um, I hope you don't take this the wrong way. But when I read your bio, and you're from the Pineys of East Texas, I just was curious how you knew how to make crusty Italian bread. In any event, it is the best bread that I've ever had. And I come from New Jersey, and where we had access to the finest bakeries. We were in between Philadelphia and New York. And um, your recipe for crusty Italian bread is the best bread that I've ever had. So we've been having it proof up there for four hours, as you said. I cut the recipe in half, and I improvised a little, and I, I put uh, sun-dried tomatoes and black olives in one, and then we have the plain recipe right here. Now I'm going to do things a little different than I normally do. I have a peel, a pizza peel, that I normally would put the breads on here, and then do them in the oven, and I have a pizza stone. But today I'm going to get a little radical, and I'm going to see if it's easier if I transfer the bread and I take the hot stone out of the oven. And I got my water going for my steam because our bread comes out crispy, crunchy, even even at the the altitude that we're at, even up here in uh, South Carolina. So I'm just going to take my dough, my proof, and and take it out. And I know you say to handle it as little as possible, and that's what we do. And I have emailed, and I did thank you for it, but we wanted to make it a little more personal. And um, I was so excited, I never saw it before, that you had the quotes of the day on there. And you had a scripture with Luke on there today, and, and um, your, your, your uh, videos of Matt Redman. And uh, we really appreciate your ministry on, online, on the web there. I think it's great. And uh, we're just going to get this shaped up here and uh, get it in the oven, our ciabatta, our little ciabatta. And uh, mark it up a little bit. This way, if I'm doing something, you see what I'm doing here. I might be doing something wrong. You might be calling me or email me and say, Anthony, you got to do this, you got to do that. I'm open. The Bible said correction is good. I don't mind being corrected. And then I'm going to take this pizza stone out. And I'm going to do some. I never did this before. I hope it don't crack. And I'm just going to transfer it right on there by hand. Put her in the oven. And now Put our steaming water in. As you can see, we have an electric oven. 
and we're going to do our timer. What I do is I do 500 like the recipe says and I do that for 30 minutes or 25 minutes sorry 25 minutes and then I turn it down to 450 for the last 10 minutes or so. We also wanted to show you what we made down here today. We made, if you could get a little snapshot of that, we made, my wife is from Montego Bay, Jamaica, and she's taking a siesta right now. But um, we, we, we cross-pollinate foods, me being Italian and her being Jamaican, and we come up with some very interesting dishes. As you could see, we have a, um, a homemade chicken soup with andouille sausage, split peas, uh, sweet potato, and dumplings. Uh, I started out by rendering some bacon, then I added my vegetables. I seared the whole chicken off in the pot, and I put my split peas in, and I combined everything together till I they were translucent, or you know, all the flavors were coming out. And then I added my stock, and we got a beautiful soup with nice colors, green and little orange in there and um, it's a nice uh, one pot meal that we're preparing for our bread now I only dished that out so you could see it but well it's pretty hot and in the backdrop you could see the double fudge caramel brownies that we made uh, last night that we all gotten into so far great with ice cream and to the left, you'll see bananas that are getting ready to make banana bread with walnuts and chocolate chips. That's tomorrow's action. So right now, we're going to take a break from our uh, test research kitchen. And we are going to get ready to pull the breads out. But before we take a break... We just want to say that um, we as believers believe in kingdom theology, which means when Jesus walked the face of the earth, he said, Thy kingdom come when he prayed the Lord's Prayer. And we believe that the way to influence society is by taking over the kingdoms of this world that have been taken over by the enemy. And the areas that we believe in taking over are politics, media, sports, entertainment, education, businesses, and we advance the kingdom of God through business. And my wife and I, when we were up in Jersey for seven years, we had a business called Via Della Rosa Gourmet Catering. And we advance God's kingdom through our food, through the people that work for us, through the customers that we had. And um, we just share the love of God we prayed for people. We saw God do great and mighty things, as he said in Jeremiah 33, 3. He said, Call upon me, and I will answer thee, and I will show thee great and mighty things thou knowest not. And we did that, and God was faithful. And through prophetic dreams, visions, and um, words of knowledge, the Lord has sent us down here to upstate South Carolina. And um, the name of our, he changed our ministry name from Via Della Rosa up in Jersey to Loaves and Fishes. Up until I moved down here, I've done everything in the kitchen. Desserts, soups, salads, garmanger, butchering. Uh, I did everything in the kitchen. But I never would touch bread because I had a fear. I don't know why I had a fear of making bread. So uh, when I went online and I found Kay's recipe, it was so simple, I couldn't believe it. And the quality of the bread is just remarkable and uh, you can see our our ministry shirts our loaves and fishes feeding the multitude body soul and spirit and that's what Jesus did Jesus was about the whole man he just did not come and just give the word of eternal life he fed people he took the loaves and the fishes in other words 
He took the little bit that that boy had and he multiplied it. And for those of you who are watching this video, maybe you don't think that you have much to give God, but I promise you, and I testify, I have never been to cooking school. I have never been to Bible school. And God gave us a business with no money. We had no money to start. We had a fruitful business up in New Jersey. And he took the little that we had and he multiplied it. He'll multiply your understanding of his love and his grace and mercy that you might be able to touch fallen mankind in whatever area he has anointed you. He anointed me and my family in the area of food. My wife, who is taking her siesta now, is a, is a nurse in the medical field. And God anointed her to work as a nurse. And, and even people where she worked at the nursing home said that when she, touches, when she touches people, that they say that they actually feel like the hand of God has touched them. That's because God anointed her for that specific purpose. So I, I just want you to know, anybody out there that's watching this, or at the sound of my voice, or hearing, whatever you have, if you bring it to the Master, Jesus Christ, He is not a religion, He is not an organization, but He is a real person that will fill you with His Spirit. He'll teach you things that you, you, you never had knowledge of. He'll teach you if you're a dad, and, and you're struggling being a dad, and I'm testifying, I'm telling all myself, I went to God and I asked God, how do I be a father? I didn't know how to be a dad. I didn't know how to be a godly dad. I didn't know how to be a husband. I didn't know how to be a godly husband. I said, Lord, teach me how to love my wife. Teach me how to raise my children. Teach me, when I have, and I do have two grandchildren back in New Jersey. Teach me how to be a grandfather. Teach me how to be a godly son to my mother and my father. This, this is, is the season that I'm in in my life right now. I'm in transition. That God is showing me things that I did not know. And I, I, I just wanted to say to anybody out there, I just wanted to encourage you. And to beseech, like Paul said, I beseech thee, brethren, by the mercies of God, to offer up your body as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable and pleasing to God. This is your reasonable service. Jesus died on a cross where he shed his blood. The least we could do, he said, the very least, is to offer up ourselves for his service. And so we're going um, to take a break for a second. And uh, then we're going to come back and take this bread out of the oven and show you all just how easy it is and how good it comes out. So uh, we'll be right back soon. Don't touch that dial. This is our, uh, we're back now in our test research kitchen here in Landrum, South Carolina at Loaves and Fishes Ministry. And um, we're getting ready to take the bread out of the oven. And uh, we just want to show you the final product. Here it is of our bread. Okay, I hope you're happy with this. Here's our, our plain loaf. See, it's got beautiful color. A little dark in some places, but not burnt. And then here's the big daddy our sun-dried tomato and black calamata olives. That's a mouthful, even for an Italian, the big mouth. Uh, as you can see and hear, that, I'm telling you, I, New York don't have bread like this. And here we are in South Carolina, up in the mountains. Man, when you slice that bread, if, I would. I wish we could wait, but we, we want to just show you what this is going on here. If we cut this bread, you'll see the the the, the holes are perfect in there, and we make a dip with a uh, extra virgin olive oil and pesto with a little fresh grated cheese to dip in. Now, what you could do, what we do, is we would slice this bread on the bias on an angle. And then make a panini with prosciutto di parma, the finest of the finest of Italian hams. Sliced thin with a uh, Havarti or Asciago cheese, whatever you like. And then we would slice it on the bias and make like an Italian gourmet grilled cheese sandwich. You could use fresh, um, fresh mozzarella, 
You could put fresh basil on there, bruschetta, oh, you, whatever your heart desires. But when you ate this bread, you thought you died and went to heaven. And so, Kay, we just wanted to thank you and for anybody else watching um, by video. Uh, we just wanted to send you a blessing because we are loaves and fishes. Now, on the spiritual note, we are more messianic, meaning um, in our worship style, um, in the things that we celebrate, messianic meaning Jewish. Because Jesus Christ was Jewish. And God gave me and my wife that revelation in 2006 that um, our style of worship, uh, the things that we desire, uh, came out of Israel. Our founding Messiah was a Jew. So we celebrate the feast days. I don't pretend to have everything right, but um, we love the shofar. We love the sound of the shofar, uh, and we blow the shofar. So before we close out this video, my son, my promise from God, and I are going to blow the shofar, and we're going to blow over this bread, and we're going to bless it. And we're going to send you a blessing wherever you are, whether you're in Texas, wherever you are. We just want to send you all a blessing. And to anyone else who's watching by video. So we're going to get our show. My son is going to set up the camera there. And we're going to blow the shofar. And we're going to ask God. We just dare to believe God for the crazy things. And the supernatural things, because there's no limit. We're not limited by time and space, because we're in the spirit realm. We're in the supernatural. We dare to believe God to multiply the loaves that He has placed on our table. Our cupboards never bare. Our spirit is always well watered with the Holy Ghost. So my son and I, we're going to blow over these. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah. Father, we thank you for Kay. We thank you for her ministry. We thank you wherever she is, Texas, where, all over the United States, Lord. We thank you for her recipes. We thank you for her ministry. And Lord, we ask now that at, at the sound of these trumpets and blow over these breads, that you will continue to use her in ministry to many that are hurting, the afflicted, the wounded, uh, those that are bruised in the mind, in the heart, those who have think that they have no hope, Lord, we ask you to bring hope by her ministry and by the sound of these trumpets, Lord. Lord, we place all our trust, all our hope in you, and let the trumpet sound. Ready, mighty man? One for the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Let your glory fall, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shalom, Shalom.